Let's assume that Mark is going to deposit a thousand dollar for three years in a bank and in return he will receive 10% compound interest per annum. So in order to draw the timeline, so now is at time zero and in the future at time n. So this future could be three years or one year or five years or six months. So the value today at time zero is called present value because this is the value at present or also we can call it the principal. The value in the future, we can call it future value, or it has many synonyms such as maturity value, cumulative value, compound amount. So here we have a compound interest. What do we mean by compound interest? We receive interest on principal as well as interest on previous interest. Therefore, the future value formula of compound interest is equivalent to present value multiplied by one plus interest to the power n. So here we have interest and time must have the same time unit. Remember always with any question related to time value of money, all the time, interest and time must have the same time unit. So what will be the future value here? We have present value of 1000 multiplied by 1 plus interest of 10%, close bracket to the power 3 years. Here I know that the interest is per annum and the time is 3 years, both of them have the same time unit and that's why we don't need to make any adjustment. So this will give us a future value of 1331. So, if interest rate is annual, so I need to change time to be annual in years. If interest rate is semi-annual, I need to change time to be every six months. If interest rate is quarterly, I need to change time to be every three months. If interest rate is monthly, I need to change time to be in month. If interest rate is weekly, I need to change time to be in weeks. If interest rate is daily, I need to change the time to be in days because interest and time must have the same time unit.